everybody welcome to this daily and intraday review today is february 19 2018 and it's 20 um, minutes to 12 um, uh, here in uh, toronto uh, 12 vst and this video is part of the fifth stock analysis and trading service uh, so welcome and as usual if you have not read and accepted the um, usual disclaimer here please do Past performance is not indicative of future results, and trading forex carries a high level of risk and may not be suitable for all investors. Please, um, if you've not read this, uh, pause the video now and uh, please read it. All right. So let's dive into our uh, markets. We'll start from the SP500. The SP500 has printed a lower low here, a daily lower low, and it may be going to uh, a test that uh, 26, uh, 27, uh, um, 100 level here, or even lower, the 50% from lows to highs. So we'll see what happens here, but uh, uh, this um, is possibly only a temporary correction here. And after that, uh, this market is likely to restart the uh, move higher to previous size. So this could be our opportunity to, uh, to enter this market, or your opportunity to enter this market. So keep an eye on this uh, on this development here. The dollar index is indeed uh, forming what seems here a, a double uh, a double um, uh, a double bottom here at least on the daily time frame. This is not uh, yet uh, anything to be worried about um, when we look at the um, extension here. The extensions have failed, but the fifty percent. We need to see whether this market holds the fifty percent. Okay, which is highs to lows here, and that fifty percent has traded here and is finding some participation. So this is the level of the test eighty nine thirty. Uh, gold, if the dollar index is moving higher, gold is actually putting um, a um, temporary uh, top here. There is a level that we identified yesterday in our weekly review. 1344, 1345 here, and that's the level that needs to be tested. So that will tell us if the dollar index continues lower, this level is going to hold as a support. If not, it's going to be break broken and uh, price will move to 1317. Silver, similar situation, of course, because silver is uh, weaker and has already traded that short, the 1692, this market is moving more. Uh, uh, decisively uh, downward so there is a 50 percent that is uh, going to be tested as well the 1654 but the actual short trade was a 1692. Um, starting from the majors australian dollar us dollar we identified last week the area of support 78.97 this is hold once twice never hit that first target above uh, and uh, and has been tested already uh, again uh, during the um, um, has been tested here already um, uh, in the morning in the US morning uh, session okay so it went down during the European session and tested that uh, 79 uh, 7897 so this this level is important and if we break it we're gonna see a continuation lower if not this market has a setup 79.97 and 80.49 are the two levels to watch. Euro dollar went to test that 50% uh, as we had anticipated. So far, uh, the reaction has been positive here, at least on the four hour time frame. 123.80. This market has um, failed the weekly um, uh, long setups. So we're going to see whether we hold this level and all depends on what the dollar index is going to do as well. If the dollar index holds uh, the uh, the um the short this market is going to continue higher palace is us dollar on the other hand has failed the extension along here during the uh, european uh, session and the um, uh, morning of um, the us session and as held so far the 50 percent uh, 39.53 traded to the uh, to the pip this is why it's important to um, uh, follow these levels and also using the FIP, use the fib stalking time and to time this level because that's going to give you a risk-free trade okay next is dollar canadian dollar this market has traded to the 24.64 and it's now uh, still holding the 50% um, short 25.67 and we'll see whether this holds or the market uh, breaks higher in which case we're going to see a move into the 29 30 very likely Your dollar swiss franc 
uh, this market also is uh, recovering uh, higher here it has not yet tested the high was 93.18 93.29 has not yet tested that 50 percent and you could test it um, um, in the in the in the coming hours or uh, between today and tomorrow the other japanese yen is also reacting higher we have a very clear set up there uh, 106.90 that's going to be the level where we want to test this market for a continuation lower and if the dollar continues lower this market is going to continue lower and uh, likely uh, going to trade at 106 and then move price into 104.92 and 103.88 all right so that's the level to follow and that's the level to time as well if that happens this market you know could uh, continue lower at that point into the uh, 170 uh, level which is the um, weekly uh, and monthly area of uh, potential support the minus new zealand dollar us dollar um, stronger than uh, the peers here and it has not traded that 73.39 this is an extension double top but it doesn't mean that uh, it's going to stop here so we're going to see what happens when it has the 73.39 and uh, finally for this brief video the US dollar singapore dollar obviously uh, you know has a high correlation with dollar index and uh, it's doing the same thing here um the dollar index has um has actually tested the 50 percent this market uh, um, has not tested the 50 percent but the important development here is that during the uh, european session has broken the next measure move um short Okay, so um, for this market now anticipating uh, um, uh, highs to lows, um, you know, trading 31, uh, 32 level here, it's not impossible. And that's the level that we want to look at for a continuation lower. Okay, this is it for this brief uh, video and uh, I'll see you later in the room. Bye bye now.